Following a break due to COVID, the Mr. World SA pageant returned this year to champion those who embody the ideals of what it means to be a progressive and inclusive modern man. Previous winner, top billing presenter Dr. Fezim Kize won the title in 2019 and went on to represent South Africa in the Mr. World pageant in the Philippines, where he was crowned Mr. World Africa. My experience as a previous title holder has been absolutely incredible. I think being Mr. World South Africa can almost be daunting at times, but then you remember exactly why it is you entered the competition and why you have the title. And with that, it has really allowed me to have the confidence to go out there and try to unite people with the purpose. With regards to tips for the contestants, just be yourself. Confidence shines through, and that's the most important thing when you're coming into a title such as this one. You want people to come to you to galvanize and to move forward together. From all of the hopeful entrants around South Africa, the top 15 were selected to compete as finalists for their shot at the title. Pageants are a lot more intricate than people think. It's not just about looks. There's a whole lot of components that come into it. Personality, values, morals. So when I look at a pageant, it's more about a person who fits a characteristic of a public figure. So coming into this competition, I was prepared for something. I had an idea, I had like a vision of what was going to happen. But coming in, everything changed. I met these wonderful guys around me and they've taught me so much. They've taught me more than I could ever learn. All that I can tell you for anyone that could potentially enter Mr. World is don't come in here with a vision. Just come in here to learn, to grow and to see where life takes you. Um, I found out that I was in the top 20 and I had to get ready, so I went to the gym, obviously did my prayers, and from there, bruh, it's been what you see right now. I first got the news and I was like, oh my, I'm shocked. But then I wanted to come here and represent every black child who thought that they cannot be here and be represented. I've been working on myself, becoming the best version of myself. I know that I possess more, and being me being here, as to actually just to transfer the energy that I have to other people because the aim is to inspire and pave the way for other people. For this competition, first of all, I didn't think I was going to make top 20, let alone the final 15. For me, I use, use this platform as meeting new people and engaging with people. Just walk your own race. And that's the motto that I'm following for this, and that's, that's, that's the way to go. So when it comes to preparation, um, what I did, I was always struggling with self-confidence. So one thing I was just doing at the moment is to just get the confidence, just to talk in front of full crowd and all that. So that was my strategy, just to be myself and be confident. I really wanted to come into the competition and just be myself and enjoy this process and learn about the journey of United with a Purpose. And at the end of the day, I'm walking away here with so much wisdom about myself and about amazing finalists that I got to meet. This year's event was held at Galleria in Santon and was broadcast via live stream. The finalists were dressed by local designers and the choreography was designed to highlight each finalist's strength. It's like a cover of a magazine. Every time you, you look at something, you, it draws your attention. And when it draws your attention, you actually tend to look further and deeper. So image is very important for the look of the, of the new Mr. World South Africa, because at the end of the day, they need to draw attention and look presentable and respectful. The judges included renowned journalist Bongani Bingwa and media personality Buipelo Mabi. So as the judges of Mr. World South Africa, what we were looking for over and above the good looks and the six pack was obviously someone who had a purpose, someone who stood for something and who would be able to share that with South Africa and be a strong representative for South Africa on the international stage. But I have to say that seeing these men on the stage for me gave me so much hope that there's so much more that we can do and there's so much more to celebrate. The selection process is not just about who wins for South Africa, in South Africa. It's about who wins for the country internationally on the global stage. We want somebody who understands us, who is connected to our reality, our challenges and our aspirations. But we also want somebody who can represent us on the global stage. We're going to be competing with the best of the best from the rest of the world. 
In third place was marketing director and model Busa Mbele, with second runner-up going to natural bodybuilder and athlete Anthony Siganazzi. This year, the crowning title went to actor Sean van Noordwijk, best known for his role as Rates from Getrout Met Rugby. I still don't think that it has sunken in completely. Uh, I think I'm going to have a really nice rest tonight and then probably tomorrow I'll try and remember what happened tonight. But what this means to me is the fact that I came in with this competition, I had a vision. I believe that I can use the platform of Mr. World South Africa. I can work with an amazing team and I can make my vision even broader, reach more people, especially the youth, because that's what's most important to me. We wish Sean van Noordwijk the very best for his reign as he uses his new title to inspire positive change. As part of the Mr. World SA pageant, under the overall theme United with Purpose, a Mr. Gay World SA was held for the first time. We've got two pageants, one being Mr. World South Africa and then Mr. World Gay SA. And the whole purpose was united with purpose. Men, no matter what your background, what your sexual preference, religion or anything is, we stand together. We stand together, together as, as brothers, stand together against bullying, um, no matter what people say. And together we can, we can fight a fight that has been ignored for so long. Twelve finalists vied for this year's title, which saw them competing in a week of activities before arriving at the main event. Come from all around um, South Africa. We are short, we are thin, we are fat, we are bent. So I think it's important that there's this equal representation of people, of people with scuffs, people that who appear perfect, you know. Um, and for all of those people to represent what it is to be a part of the, the gay community. This outfit is very, very dramatic. I love it. it it's me in, in clothing. It's the very dramatic. These are the pants we'll be wearing. I'll be walking on them tonight. The finalists were from all over South Africa and included a diverse range of backgrounds and professions from banking, mental health, reality TV and fitness. It's not necessary about being firm or being straight acting and stuff like that. I think you need to be grounded as well, be able to communicate and engage with people because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about every gay person out there, whether lesbian, bisexual, whatever, you are a representative for them. I think it's very important, I think, um, for us to stand up, to be proud within ourselves. Um, I think it's very important, especially these days where there's stereotyping going on, bullying going on. I think the pageant um, is very important for the LGBTQIA plus community because, um, you know, when Mr. Gay World is crowned, you know, that person should lead as an example for the whole community. Um, and they look up to that person. So it is definitely very important. I think the biggest competitor at this stage for each one of the guys is ourselves. We um, have to face our own insecurities, walking down in underwear, being putting yourself open to judgment from the public. So I think for each one of us, um, it is an internal struggle at this stage more than an outward struggle because we are also uh, such good friends that I would like to believe that whoever wins tonight uh, deserves it and all of us will support that person. The event was organized by the inimitable Edith Fenter. Uh, Mr. Gay World South Africa pageant is about unity, is about supporting the LGBTQ uh, community. Um, and our slogan is united with purpose because we feel the gay community is very much part of, of everything and, and very much uh, part of South Africa culture. Good evening, Mazanzi, and welcome to the Mr. Gay World 2021. I hope you enjoy this evening. Pull up a chair, enjoy yourself, because this is going to be one spectacular evening. Yes, that is true, but I'm not as happy as him. I'm super nervous, so I'm excited. I'm going to go on stage. I'm going to give my best. I got my favorite art. I want to show the world who I am. 
Excitement, excitement, excitement. I can't wait to start. I can't wait to show everyone what we've worked for this whole week. So very excited. Judges at this year's pageant included media personality Alan Ford and editor of LGBTQI community newspaper Exit, Dumisani Dube. These gentlemen are very powerful gentlemen in their own right. It's not about their bodies, it's not about uh, where they come from, but it's about what they represent as individuals. This is a pillar to the community to some extent because this representative goes overseas, they get to speak with the South African voice for the LGBT plus community, but most importantly get to speak for South Africa and how wonderful we are as a country, how, how progressive we are as a country, and how we have the most, one of the most progressive constitutions in the world. I think this event tonight has been absolutely incredible and having been overseas to kind of see how things were done in the Philippines, we really are meeting the standard and I can only see things going up from here. Runner up was Bongi Nkosi Ndima, a 37 year old reality TV star and mental health campaigner from KZN, followed by Shannon Canigan, a 27 year old banker from Benoni. TV presenter Lo Breitenbach of Boxburg was crowned this year's winner. The 31-year-old founder of his own drama school says he plans to use the platform to raise awareness around mental health. Ooh, the first reaction, <laughs> I think it was a bit of disbelief, a lot of excitement, and I think it's nerves and excitement and disbelief all running uh, through your veins at the exact same time, and then at with that, so, so, so appreciative of the gentlemen that walked that stage with me because they're such an amazing group of guys and I know it could have been any one of us. I think the responsibility and the role of a title holder in this is so important because we're not just looking for another cover boy or another model with ads and pics. We need someone in the community driving change and um, someone who's going to work for this title and represent all the members of our community and to start doing more about awareness for those underrepresented within our larger community. It's fantastic to see how platforms such as Mr. World SA and Mr. Gay World SA are not only concerned with external beauty, but the importance of a strong mind and a beautiful heart. Next on the